Welcome back. My name is Satyajit Sahu and we are live from Baiju Studio. We are in middle of monsoon series. In monsoon series, we are solving numericals from important topics of GATE. Right? And this week, from Monday to Friday, we were studying what? Geotechnical Engineering. Right? So today is the last day for Geotechnical Engineering. And today we'll be seeing an important topic that is known as what? Index properties. Okay? So, this week we started with permeability of layer soils, then active pressure in cohesionless and cohesive soil, then we studied bearing capacity, then yesterday pile foundation, and today we are going to see what? Index properties. Okay? So, this will be the end of our geotech series i can say geotechnical series so if you have not covered the earlier lectures in this series so you can see all of them on youtube okay in our byju's exam prep official youtube channel means the channel with from which you are seeing okay all these lectures are available so you can see so that tomorrow tomorrow at 6 pm we will have a quiz Okay, but that quiz will not be on the YouTube. That will be on what? Our Baiju's exam prep app. That will be on Baiju's exam prep app. Okay, and the syllabus will be what? We are going to solve questions from these topic topics only. Okay, from all these topics means what? Permeability of soil, active earth pressure, pile foundation, bearing capacity, in, in index properties. Okay, so from all these topics, tomorrow we'll have a quiz. So let us start today's topic without any further delay. So in index properties, one of the most important things asked is the Etterberg limits. But before going to that, let us welcome our participants. So welcome Juhi, Archana, Mukul, Nayan and Pivek. So we go to topic. Before that, a short introduction about myself. My name is Satyajit Sahu. I have done my B.Tech and M.Tech both from IIT Kharagpur and I have been selected into many of the PSUs through GATE. After that, I have been teaching for the GATE and ESC domain for the last 10 years and I have taught in more than 15 states. Okay, And I teach all the civil engineering subjects and also I teach general studies for your ESC prelims. So let us start with what? The Atterberg limits. We'll start with the topic known as what? Atterberg limits. Okay. So there was one gentleman known as Atterberg. What Atterberg did was, okay. So he plotted a curve or graph between what and what? Between the water content. Okay. So in the x-axis he plotted water content okay in the y he plotted what the volume of soil the volume of soil yes welcome arti also so at zero water content at zero water content soil will be dry right soil will be in dry state so soil is dry and Corresponding to that, this volume will be known as what? The dry volume. The dry volume. Now, when he increased the water content, he got a plot like this. Let us understand this plot. You can see that from this point to this point. Yes, from this point to this point, you can see that the water content is increasing, right? The water content is increasing, it is greater than zero. Yes, the water content is increasing, it is greater than zero. But the volume of soil is constant. But the volume of soil is constant. That is equal to dry volume. Yes, what is happening here? If you see the phase diagram, if you see the phase diagram of your soil, See, when it is in dry state, there will be only what? There will be only solid, the rest will be what? Air. This is in dry state. Or I can say the water content is zero. 
right now if you are providing water that means what after this if you are increasing your water content then what will happen after some time you will see water like this right after some time we will see water like this after some time we will see water like this tell me when you are adding water you are adding water is the total volume changing yes from dry state when you are adding water to the soil is the total volume changing please write in the comment section is the total volume changing when you are adding water to the soil please mention in the comment section is the total volume changing no the total volume is not changing that is what is the catch here <laughs> that is what is the catch here. i like to explain to you you see this is your volume of solid right and this is your volume of voids okay and this is your total volume total volume when it was dry when it was dry then all the voids are occupied with your air now when you add water the water will be added like this again you increase water content the water will be added like this you can see that the total volume is not changing only only the water is occupying the voids the voids were already there right only the water is occupying those voids so the volume will not change the total volume of soil will not change but that will be up to a limit right you see up to this i can say that the total volume will not change but after this point if you add water then what will happen then the volume will change after this if you add water the volume will change yes and the same thing is observed in the curve you can see that up to a certain water content the volume is not changing after this you can see that the volume is increasing after this you can see that what the volume is increasing yes and here i get my first atta bug limit uh, good evening anuj satish mukul saurav sri archana and aslan after this point what is happening the volume is changing and this point is known as what shrinkage limit or i can say this water content is known as what your shrinkage limit this water content is known as what your shrinkage limit so i can say shrinkage limit i can define shrinkage limit how it is the water content below which the volume of soil is constant right it is the water content below which the volume of soil is constant yes read all these things carefully tomorrow i will conduct the quiz so there you have to answer right <laughs> so shrinkage limit is the limit below which the volume of soil is constant above it the volume will increase right now another interesting thing you see when the water is somewhere here the soil is not fully saturated right the soil is fully saturated when the water reaches here yes so i can say at shrinkage limit only the degree of saturation will become what one or i can say all the voids will be filled by your water after that also it will remain one only after that also it will remain one only but below your shrinkage limit below your shrinkage limit the degree of saturation will be less than 1 because all the voids won't be occupied by what water right won't be occupied by water now another interesting thing so now your void ratio in dry state is ed right now since the total voids is not changing till shrinkage limit so i can say at shrinkage limit at shrinkage limit at shrinkage limit the void ratio will be equal to what the void ratio will be equal to the same void ratio when i am getting in case of dry soil okay so the void ratio and i can say 
void ratio void ratio and total volume void ratio and total volume and total volume remain constant till what constant till what till your shrinkage limit and what is that constant volume that constant volume is the dry volume and that constant void ratio is the dry void ratio see water content increases degree of saturation also increases yes because here degree of saturation will be zero so degree of saturation will increase from zero to one water content also will increase from zero to the shrinkage limit but your volume total volume and the void ratio won't change very good now good evening prithvi and good evening rahul and samriddhi now below this shrinkage limit soil is told to be in which state solid state it is told to be in solid state or solid i can say now there are two more water contents two more water contents one is your plastic limit and the other one is what your liquid limit the other one is liquid limit okay so above liquid limit the soil is in liquid state okay above the liquid limit the soil is in liquid state and above the plastic limit above the plastic limit and below the liquid limit means what from plastic to liquid here the soil is in plastic state and from shrinkage to plastic limit the soil is in semi solid state so they can have frame so many questions from here they can frame so many questions from here that if the soil is between plastic limit and liquid limit the soil is in which state plastic state if the soil is having water content less than the shrinkage limit then i will say that the soil is in solid state right or i can say that if your water content is more than liquid limit the soil is in liquid state so all this thing we should know and from diagram we can easily answer these questions okay now one thing i wanted to ask you which many people know also but don't know also this atterberg limits are what actually if i say this plastic limit if i ask you plastic limit liquid limit and shrinkage limit what are they can you write in the comment section they are what what are they what is common between them what are they see don't tell that what happens beyond them basically what are they like you are all students i am a teacher so what are this plastic limit and liquid limit and shrinkage limit what are they what are these plastic limit shrinkage limit or your liquid limit what are they like you are all a students somebody is a no that is okay that is okay i am asking you basic question very basic question what are they they are water contents <laughs> yes saurabh sri they are water contents yes and the soil is changing its behavior above or below this water contents okay so you see that consistency of soil is fine that is you how you know consistency because you know before okay before only you know but if i ask from today's lecture you can see yeah there what there basically water content which affects the behavior of soil right they are at the end what they are at the end what water content only because here you see you are plotting what the volume versus water content so you are studying the behavior of soil at different water content okay and this behavior is known as consistency see this behavior is known as consistency but what are these limits these limits affect the consistency but they are actually what they are actually water content okay they are actually water content understood very good so we'll understand more about shrinkage limit and numericals after a certain time okay after a certain time we'll solve more numericals and all don't worry but before that i want to discuss certain indexes like first we'll discuss what plastic index or plasticity index now plasticity index is very simple 
you see here we got somewhere what the liquid limit here we got somewhere what the liquid limit w l and here we got something what the plastic limit here we got the plastic limit okay so this difference of liquid limit and plastic limit is known as what this difference is known as what your plasticity index the difference is known as what your plasticity plasticity index you know these things but i am just revising or if somebody is not knowing then i am teaching that also now this ip can never be less than 0 it can never be negative okay so this ip can never be less than 0 it can never be negative okay because you see how can the if it is negative that means what liquid limit is less than plastic limit right how can that happen can the liquid limit be less than plastic limit no that is not a possibility right and therefore i can say it can never be negative now we classify the soil okay based on this indexes okay based on this indexes we classify the soil now if the plasticity index is in the range 0 to 7 i call this as low plastic i call that as what low plastic then 7 to 17 i'll call that as medium plastic i call that as medium plastic and more than 17 i'll call that as high plastic i call that as high plastic now it is written therefore zero because it can never be less than zero okay so you see if you are not able to remember this just remember three numbers right or just remember two numbers 7 and 17 <laughs> just remember two numbers you see 7 and 17 okay 7 or 17 yes so <laughs> below 7 low above 7 high and between them it above 17 high and between them medium is it remember easy to remember okay so this is about what the plasticity index suppose i say that you know suppose i am giving a small you know that you no know, liquid limit is 45 okay and your plastic plastic limit is 28 29 suppose now tell me now tell me what is the ip and this is which this is which plastic what is the ip and this which plastic that is 16 obviously 45 minus this if they ask you it's a medium plastic it is medium plastic because less than 70 such questions they will ask you very easy easy we'll solve some good questions about sinkage limit at the end of the class before that i want to take something about this indexes now the next index which confuse you a lot okay the next two indexes which confuse you a lot many students gets confused so let me just put some light on this liquidity index and consistency index you can remember this from the graph also okay you can remember this from the graph also how you see first you draw this uh, plastic limit so this is our plastic limit wp now next is suppose a liquid limit the liquid limit is w l now suppose your water content the water content is in between them suppose this is the natural water content or the water content of the soil right see the water content might not be at liquid limit or plastic limit it might be at some other place also now it's very easy to remember how to remember very easy you see this this is close to liquid limit right not close to liquid limit i can say it is towards the liquid limit right it is towards the liquid limit so this will be what this will be ic <laughs> the closer one to the liquid limit will be the ic yes and this ic will be what you see suppose this is the natural water content this ic will be what this will be wl minus w divided by what ip you see easy to remember right next thing is your il or liquidity index it will be away from the liquid limit and i can say this will be what from diagram only you can say it will be plastic limit no it will be the water content minus plastic limit 
divided by what? IP. Able to remember from the diagram better? Yes. Able to remember from the diagram better, right? So this is your IC, this is your IL. Now never get confused. I'll give you another tip. I'll give you another tip. You see, in this consistency, there is this liquid limit term. <laughs> Whereas, in the liquidity index, there is no liquid limit term in the numerator. See, in denominator, it is there. IP, IP. Okay. But if you see the numerator, if you see the numerator, in the consistency index, there is liquid limit term. But in the liquidity index, there is no liquid limit term. You can remember by this logic also. Or best is from diagram. Best is from diagram. Understood? Now you see you never get confused with these two terms, right? And you can easily see that your IC plus IL, if you add them, they will be what? They will be 1. You see? It will be, you see, liquid limit minus water content plus water content minus plastic limit by your plasticity index. This get cut and WL minus WP is what? Plasticity index. So this ratio will be 1. So I can say this will be equal to 1 if you are taking the ratios. If you are taking percentage, I can say this will be what? Percentage will get what? 100%. Percentage get what? 100%. Understood? Easy. Liquidity index and consistency index. Now, there are some classifications of soil based on that. Okay? You remember IC, you automatically remember for what? IL. Because IL is what? IL is, I can say, 100 minus IC if you are taking the percentage. If you are taking the percentages, then IL percent nothing but what? Your 100 minus IC. 100 minus IC. Now you see, if it is from 0 to 25, we call the soil as very soft. Okay? And then from 25 to 50, I call this as soft. From 50 to 75, I call this as medium, okay? And 75 to 100, it will be stiff, okay? So if you remember this, for IC, for IL, it will be opposite. When it is 0 to 25, IC 0 to 25, it will be how much? It will be 75 to 100, right? And when it is 25 to 50, it will be 50 to 75. When it is 50 to 75, it will be 25 to 50. When it is 75 to 100, it will be 0 to 25. So like this, you can easily remember, right? Or as Rahul told, just remember 25, 50, 75, 100. All the variations are in what? Ranges of 25, 25, 25, right? Very easy, very easy, right? Now, this is the direct questions they can ask you. That is fine. There are some tricky questions they ask you about these values of what? IC and IL. That we'll know after adding some water. Thank you very much. Let us study something about the IC. Study something about IC. Then we study something about the IL. See, when the water content is between liquid limit and plastic limit, then I can say in this range, IC will be between 0 to 1. Which will be between what? It will be between 0 to 1. Yes, between 0 to 1. Okay? Or I can say percentage 0 to 100. Now in the liquid state, suppose the soil is in liquid state. Then what happens? Your water content is more than liquid limit, right? What was IC? IC was your liquid limit minus water content divided by IP. So if your water content is more than your liquid limit, IC will come how much? It will come negative. So important thing, if your IC is negative, that means the soil is in liquid state. It is in liquid state. They might ask you questions like this. See, in the plastic, in the plastic range, IC lies between what? IC lies between your 0 to 1. Right? But it will become negative in the liquid state. Now, at liquid limit, at liquid limit, IC is 0, na? you see, 
एट लिक्विड लिमिट मीन्स वन मे वॉटर कंटेंट इज एक्चुअली इक्वल टू लिक्विड लिमिट आई सी विल बी जीरो ना यू सी एट प्लास्टिक लिमिट आई सी विल बी वन ना आई सी विल बी वन बिकॉज यू सी इफ यू पुट डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू पी नॉट विल हैपन डब्ल्यू एल माइनस डब्ल्यू पी बाई आई पी दैट इज वॉट आई पी बाई आई पी वॉट वन ना यस एंड आई कैन से योर आई सी विल बी ग्रेटर देन वन इन योर सेमी सॉलिड स्टेट अंडरस्टूड दिस थिंग्स और नॉट अबाउट आई सी अंडरस्टूड दे विल आस क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस इन द ऑब्जेक्टिव एग्जामिनेशन दैट इफ आई सी इज जीरो सॉइल इज वेर सॉइल इज एट प्लास्टिक लिमिट आई सी अरे लिक्विड लिमिट इफ आई सी इज वन सॉइल इज एट प्लास्टिक लिमिट इफ आई सी इज नेगेटिव सॉइल इज इन लिक्विड स्टेट आई सी इज मोर देन वन इट इज इन सेमी सॉलिड स्टेट अंडरस्टूड सो ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन दे कैन आस्क दर फोर यू शुड नो दिस ओके द नेक्स्ट थिंग दे कैन डू अबाउट वॉट सेम आई एल ऑल्सो द नेक्स्ट थिंग दे कैन डू अबाउट आई एल ऑल्सो नाउ टेल मी नाउ टेल मी आई एल अबाउट आई एल इन लिक्विड स्टेट आई एल इज वॉट टेल मी इन लिक्विड स्टेट वॉट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ आई एल वॉट यू कैन कॉमेंट अबाउट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई एल इन लिक्विड स्टेट यस आई एल इज वॉट आई एल इज योर वॉटर कंटेंट माइनस प्लास्टिक लिमिट बाई आई पी सो वॉट यू कैन से वॉट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ आई एल इन द लिक्विड स्टेट वॉट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ आई एल इन लिक्विड स्टेट ग्रेटर देन वन यस आई एल विल बी ग्रेटर देन वन और इन परसेंटेज ग्रेटर देन हंड्रेड परसेंट इन रेशियो ग्रेटर देन वन बिकॉज यू सी here the water content is more than liquid limit right so if the water see water content is more than liquid limit it will become what w this w is something greater than liquid limit so what will happen it will be greater than w l minus w p by i p that is what greater than 1 yes it will be greater than 1 and in the semi solid in the semi solid the liquidity index will be what it will be negative the liquid index will be negative why negative obviously because here the water content is less than wp the water content is less than what your plastic limit so from the definition only it's seeing that it is negative and at plastic limit it is what zero and at liquid limit it is what it is your one and between this in the plastic state it is between 0 and 1 hope you understood this two discussions on what this two detailed discussion what ic and il you see so many objectives are there all those type of questions i'll ask tomorrow in the app quiz so please come prepared okay now moving to the end of this lecture means the end of the lecture is not end <laughs> there are some questions they ask on what on the shrinkage limit there are some question which they ask on the shrinkage limit now in the shrinkage limit we saw that you see this is the shrinkage limit okay this is the shrinkage limit so in shrinkage limit we saw it is the water content at which the degree of saturation becomes what one right what is the degree of saturation at this point suppose this is water content one some water content is there some random water content is there the one and suppose the volume is v1 what will be the degree of saturation there tell me what will be the degree of saturation there at water content 1 at water content 1 what is the degree of saturation it is greater than 1 or equal to 1 less than 1 what is the degree of saturation at water content 1 see degree of saturation can never be more than 1 right the degree of saturation can never be more than 1 so it will remain 1 only see after the soil becomes fully saturated after the soil becomes fully saturated at shrinkage limit it remains fully saturated only the water is increasing the volume total volume right very good now this is one concept i wanted to tell you now this is your dry volume at shrinkage limit 
at sinkage limit the volume is see at sinkage limit remember this things very important at sinkage limit the volume is equal to dry volume right yes volume is equal to dry volume the void ratio is equal to what the dry void ratio and degree of saturation is what that is 1 at sinkage limit and above that void ratio will change suppose a void ratio is here is e1 yes the water content will change but the degree of saturation won't change the degree of saturation won't change above the sinkage limit all these are very important points which they can ask you now one interesting thing we know that the total volume is directly proportional to 1 plus void ratio okay if you don't know i will say that total volume is volume of solids into 1 plus e and volume of solids never change whenever there is change in volume of a soil only the pores will change right only the voids change the volume of solids don't change so i can say that the total volume is directly proportional to 1 plus e the total volume at this point at sinkage limit is dry volume total volume at this point is how much v1 so i can say v1 by vd since you see it is directly proportional to 1 plus e v1 plus vd will be what 1 plus e1 by 1 plus ed 1 plus e1 by 1 plus ed now you see we know this equation right se is equal to wg right the degree of saturation becomes 1 after the shrinkage limit so after shrinkage limit i can write down void ratio is what only water content into g because degree of saturation is 1 but you can write down after the shrinkage limit so here i can write down since e1 is after the shrinkage limit i can write down what w1 into what g because g will remain same constant and then at shrinkage limit at shrinkage limit the void ratio is equal to what the dry void ratio yes and i can write down this dry void ratio is what the water content at sinkage limit which is sinkage limit itself into g understood this equation or not understood this equation or not right now at sinkage limit at sinkage limit i am telling that this equation holds good right because degree of saturation is 1 so at sinkage limit i can say this will be dry ed will be equal to the water content is what sinkage limit into g so from here i get another formula what your sinkage limit your sinkage limit is equal to the dry void ratio divided by what g so you can find out the sinkage limit either by using this formula okay or if you know both the volumes volumes at any other water content and the dry volume then also you can find out using this relationship okay we'll see that by some questions we'll see that by some questions like this simple question you see okay the simple question dry volume of soil is 500 cc dry volume of soil is 500 cc dry weight is given g is given find the shrinkage limit we just saw the formula right what we saw the formula we saw in the formula the sinkage limit is equal to what your dry void ratio divided by g how we got this from the relation se is equal to wg and putting degree of saturation what one now how to find out this dry void ratio we should remember that we can always find out dry void ratio from where from the dry unit weight because dry unit weight is what your g gamma w by 1 plus dry unit weight you can find out now what is your on dry unit weight dry void ratio now dry unit weight will be how much it will be equal to dry weight by dry volume very easy that is how much we are getting getting 872 divided by how much 500 so how much is this 872 divided by 500 i am getting 1.744 now from here this is 1.744 from here get me your dry void ratio come on this is a very common question which they ask in get this is one of the most common questions and expected questions please find out dry void ratio from here 
please find out dry void ratio from here point five six others see g u put two point seven two and gamma w you put nine point eight one you put nine point eight one no put one because we are dealing in gram per cc this is gram per cc so put one gram per cc so many have found out the answer okay i am not solving this very easy right g you know gamma w you know gamma d you found out just put and point out e d once you get that the shrinkage limit will be how much tell me how much you getting this this is 0.56 divided by 2.72 how much i am getting We're getting point two zero six. We're getting point two zero six in percentage. It will be twenty point six percentages. In percentage, it will be how much? Twenty point six percentages. It's a very commonly asked question. The sinkage limit is nothing but the dry unit, the dry void ratio by G, because degree of saturation is one. Now, if you don't know this E D, suppose the dry void ratio is not given. You can find out using what your gamma d. You can find out using what your gamma d. Game over. Let us solve another question. Before that, I want you to solve this question. Yes. Try first this question. Let us see you try this question. Use the second method which I explained to you. Use the second method which I explained to you. Right. That method. That is what. V one by dry volume is equal to one plus E one by one plus E D, and I told since the degree of saturation is one, I can write down this as what one plus W one G by one plus W S H into G. Use this relationship and find out the shrinkage limit in this particular question. Let us see how many are able to solve this. I'll give you some time. Take some time. Ah, huh? I have no hurry. When you switch on the phone, then the phone is. All the doubt starts coming in. So this doubt, that doubt, so this question, that question, you know this subject, that subject. <laughs> okay, good evening, Vaskar. So okay, Saurav C is getting point zero means three point seven percent. Okay, others. Very good. Okay, let us solve this. Suppose this is your sinkage limit. So this is your dry volume. Now this is another water content, and this is another volume. Now this water content is given how much? It is given three point two times of sinkage limit. So three point two times of sinkage limit. Now this V one, this volume V one is given what? Increased by twenty percent of dry volume. This is how much? One point two V D. So if I put here in this relationship, I can tell one point two V D divided by V D is equal to one plus three point two times of sinkage limit into G divided by One plus sinkage limit into G. So this I will get how much? This I will get 1.2. See G value is given, right? G value is given. 
you just have one unknown you just have what what unknown then you just do some cross multiplication and put the value of g you will get the shrinkage limit as you will get this as 0 0.0367 see the value will come in decimal in percentage this will be what 3.6 percent by multiplying 100 so you see we are able to solve this question by simply see understanding what the diagram and simple logic okay let us solve another type of question which they ask in this particular shrinkage limit okay here you see it is given at water content 36 percent volume of soil is 500 cc at water content 23 percent the volume of soil is 320 cc find the shrinkage limit if the dry volume is 210 how to solve this type of questions you see the dry volume is 210 then we have another volume at 320 another volume at what 500 okay now there are some water content corresponding to this volumes there are some water contents corresponding to this volumes okay so water content corresponding to this volumes what are the water contents for your 500 the water content is 36 percent okay for your 320 the water content is how much it is 23 percent right and for dry volume you know the water content is how much the shrinkage limit okay so how to find out the shrinkage limit for such questions it's very easy you can see that this is a straight line this is a straight line so we can equate the slope between these two points yes i can equate the slope between these two points i can also equate the slope between these two points yes the slope will be same why because slope is same because it's a straight line very good now how we find out slope y2 minus y1 by what x2 minus x1 so for this red one the slope will be how much 500 minus 320 divided by what 36 minus 23 now for the blue one it will be how much y2 minus y1 320 minus 210 divided by how much 23 minus w sh equating the slopes yes equating the slopes and by single line and by seeing the diagram single line hello ladies and gentlemen by single line and seeing the diagram you are able to solve and find out the shrinkage limit how much you are getting here here directly we will get the percentage here directly we will get the percentage why because we have taken this in percentage only right so directly we will get how much 15.06 percent getting how much 15.06 percentage so great great hope you are enjoying these sessions okay so in this particular week i want to just tell again okay so please tomorrow is sunday don't waste your time okay you know somebody might be thinking so sunday i want to enjoy why you are destroying my sunday okay you can enjoy in future nobody is denying you hey, anyhow you are enjoying all the days i know that don't lie to me i know okay so tomorrow is sunday so morning to evening or today night to tomorrow evening 6 pm you again go to the videos of our what by juice exam prep I have taken this topic, permeability, active earth pressure, bearing capacity, pile foundation, index properties. Yes, tomorrow we will have a quiz. Okay, tomorrow we will have a quiz at 6 p.m. Not in the YouTube, but by juice exam prep official channel. By juice exams prep, not channel, app. app, official app. Okay, on the app we will have the quiz. So it will be a good what it will be a good revision for all of you okay all these topics i will conduct a quiz okay all these topics will conduct a quiz okay and there will be polling also see we can't do on this polling thing on uh, we are not able to do this polling thing on where on uh, youtube that is difficult we can do the menti quiz okay we can do the menti quiz that is good option but us mein bhi thoda delay ho jata hai but app mein kya hai? what happens in app it is what instant it is instant right i don't know how many questions okay i don't know how many questions because that i will depend on because the questions will be new now i will frame in the night 
<laughs> the question is, I will frame in the night only. Night or tomorrow morning, I will frame. So I also don't know. So I also don't know that. Thank you, Tyagrajan. So I also don't know that uh, how many questions will be there. But yes, there will be very good amount of questions. So tomorrow we'll have menti le lo abhi. Kabhi haan lenge, kabhi lenge. But app mein aa jaiye. Come to app. In the app, what happens? It is live only. There is no delay in the app. In the app, no delay. And then you can see the toppers also. Okay. So let us start this question. Now solve this question. Solve this question using the same concept. The slope concept. Solve this question using the same concept. Okay. Oh, some issue happened. Okay, sorry. Solve this question using the same concept. Solve this question using the same concept, okay? That is the end of today's lecture. So today is Saturday. Battery low. <laughs> no, 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 no. Battery is not low. <laughs> Battery is not low. <laughs> I just clicked some wrong button. So from sinkage limit, they ask questions on, from the curve, they ask such questions, okay? Therefore, sinkage limit, you should be knowing. Therefore, I solve some questions. And especially in gate, they will ask such questions. Because you see, I C I L I P. They are very straightforward questions, right? You just need to do the formula. The concept is mostly in sinkage limit. Yes, the concepts are more in sinkage limit, okay? Seven point two two. Very good. So you are now all confident that you can easily solve questions on sinkage limit, and all these type of questions which are asked you can easily solve, right? Easily solve. You see the slope in this part. Take the slope in this part, and take slope in this part. Okay. So now this is what ten minus v by fifty two minus thirty two. Okay, and the other part it will be what? V minus six point zero one divided by what? Thirty two minus seventeen. Or if you want to make it little simple, then you can take for this whole part also. For this whole part, slope will be how much? It will be ten minus six point zero one divided by what? Fifty two minus seventeen. This all three will be same, right? Thank you, Miss Seri. <laughs> Thank you very much. Keep smiling. <laughs> keep smiling. Keep studying. Keep enjoying the things. Okay. So I will share something about uh, this thing. I will I will share something. Okay. At the end of the class. <laughs> keep smiling. Keep enjoying. Keep studying. Study is the actual happiness. Study is actual happiness. Seven point seven two. You are getting. Okay, so actually I will share something. Okay, then we'll end the class. Okay, so this is the end of today's class. Okay, so I will share something, a beautiful thing. I'll share. Okay, so I have learned civil engineering. Okay, I have done my B Tech from IIT Khadakpur. Okay, and I have done my masters in structural engineering. 
from IIT Kharagpur only. Okay. So I have been teaching civil engineering for the last, I can say, I started teaching in my third year actually. <laughs> in my third year, I started teaching civil engineering. <laughs> Because I was free, so I thought what to do. I started teaching civil engineering because I thought so much I have learned, let me start sharing. Okay, so I am teaching from 2011 actually. Okay, I started teaching from the year 2011. Okay, so now <laughs> I am not that expert in physics. <laughs> I am not that much expert in physics. I am even not expert in civil engineering. <laughs> Okay, I am not a civil engineer, I am not an expert also. I have good knowledge, I have good knowledge and I have good knowledge how to crack your examination. Okay, uh, Salgar is really itna early, yeah, I, I look little young but I have been teaching for the last 10 years. Okay, so now, uh, now civil engineering I have learned many things, okay, but I want to expand my knowledge. I want to expand my knowledge and recently what I did, okay, uh, recently what I did that you know I am learning two things okay because you know see there is no limit to learning right there is no limit to learning because you see last two years we were all locked down yes and we had a lot of tragedy yes so I was thinking that how to change my mind that what to do that you know that bring some freshness in life you know how to bring something new to life okay so I started learning two courses now I am doing a course on concrete structures okay Practical design, concrete structures, the theoretical portions I know, I am doing some softwares in concrete structures and I am doing some courses on steel structures also. Some softwares I am learning, okay, and uh, after I complete, after I complete this courses on concrete and steel structures, I will uh, show some live demos also in our YouTube channel, I have planned after one month or something. We will have some live demos like from software, how to design, you know, concrete structures and steel structures, okay? What is my plan that, you know, that we will use the software, we'll use the software, okay, and do a design, okay? We'll use the software and do a design, okay? And then we will also manually design it, okay? We'll also manually design it using the IS code, okay? We'll also manually design it using the IS code and we'll see that how they are same, okay? So we'll all do all this fun, okay? We'll do all this fun, okay? So, but not, what I'm trying to say is not that uh, you learn it or not. You learn what you want. What I want to share is that, that there is joy in learning. There is no joy in only, you know, whatever you have studied before and, you know, just keeping your knowledge, what? And don't always learn that, you know, that to earn something. Yes, we should study also for earning also as livelihood. Yes, but along with that, I will tell that also learn it for fun. Okay, also learn it for fun, for joy. If you're liking some subject, it might not be civil engineering. It might be something else. It might be something else, right? You, there will be some liking of yours, right? Okay. There might be some liking of yours. So, start doing that. Recently, what I did, so I was seeing, you know, I, I was seeing um, uh, machine learning courses and data sciences courses. Okay. I was seeing those courses. So, I saw the courses. The basics are two things. The basics are two things. One is your linear algebra. Okay, one is your linear algebra means what? All the matrices, okay? And second one is your probability statistics. Second one is what? The probability of statistics. Obviously the higher versions, obviously the higher versions, okay? So, okay, so what I did, I started studying them. <laughs> so there was no uh, direct benefit now. Okay, after some years, I might become, I might, you might see me as teaching data science or machine learning. That is a different thing, okay? But now I am learning these two not for livelihood. Not for livelihood. I am learning because I like mathematics. I like mathematics, so I am learning linear algebra. I am studying, you know, uh, the orthogonality of matrices, right? 
I am studying, you know, determinants. I am studying, you know, your probability, all the distributions, binomial distribution, and then, you know, your normal distributions, and all the statistical models, like, you know, linear regressions and all. Yes. So I am studying and I am enjoying. And you can see that, actually, I took at... At 5.30, I had taken, my temperature was 101 degrees centigrade. So I took one medicine, Calpol. Okay. <laughs> and I am teaching. You can see from my eyes that my eyes are not that good. Earlier, my eyes were like this. Okay. So I am a little sick. But still, today I studied probability statistics. I solved questions. And now I am teaching. Right? Okay, good. So that's what I want to tell that. Okay. That's what I want to tell that. Take this learning as a fun. Okay. Take this learning as a fun, but yes, there should be some focus on the examinations also. Jada fun ni karne ka. Jada fun karke jada gyan ni karne ka. So, do in two ways. Okay, very good, Vaskar. So, do it two ways. Have an exam orientation also. Have an exam orientation also. You should be exam oriented also. You should not start studying anything. Okay, so preparing for some examination, then be exam oriented. Okay, be exam oriented. And then for fun, you can study some things which you like. You can say for fun, you can study some things which you like. Only if, only if your exam preparation is going fine. Okay, only if your exam preparation is going fine, then only for fun you can study. Okay, and how to judge that your exam preparation is going fine? Very simple. You go to the practice tests. Okay, you go to your practice tests. They're available on Baiju's exam prep app. Okay, in Baiju's exam prep app, you go and regularly give the practice tests. So, if you're giving the practice test, you're getting good score. That means what? Your studies are going fine. And then you can, for fun, you can study something else also, right? But if in the practice test you're getting poor marks, then fun ko jada hi ho raha hai. <laughs> Phir fun ko kam karo and then focus on your exam-oriented studies, okay? Okay, so many things Mr. Seri is sharing, okay? I'm not that good in mathematics also. Three, uh, what is adding? When do you string the remember always a black hole? So don't not fall into it and do not bit flip when you're, okay? Thanks. Salute. <laughs> so it was just, you know, good bouncer. So good bouncer, I ducked in. <laughs> okay. So thank you very much. So keep learning and keep attending the lectures on Baiju's exam prep app and YouTube official channel. Keep learning in both ways, for fun also and for clearing the exam also. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow at 6 p.m. in the app with the quiz. Thank you very much. So I will request our technical team to end the class. Till that time, if you want to laugh with me, you can laugh. Or you want to ask something, you can ask. I will message <laughs> that the class is over. General session, no need to general session. In our class on classroom only, we discuss things. So in classroom only, we'll have learning also, some general discussions also. So that will go on. Keep attending the classes. Thank you very much. Bye.